Welcome back. After many years of maybe sun damage on your face or now finding those fine facial lines in the mirror, you may wish you could you kind of take the hands of time back. Yeah, I definitely do. Well, Dr. Christopher Maloney has what you are looking for in laser resurfacing. Doctor, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. So we are talking about laser resurfacing. Can you explain to our viewers what that is exactly? Yeah, laser resurfacing is basically using a machine or a laser device to apply high energy to the skin, getting the skin to respond in a particular way. So we have different lasers with different wavelengths that target different you know, end targets. And depending on what we're trying to do, we use specific lasers for each one to achieve that cosmetic or aesthetic goal. And now, are, are there other things in the market that are similar? How, do, how is this different? There are a lot of different lasers. The laser that we're talking about today is called the Cyton Erbium laser. And Erbium is basically a wavelength that targets, or an energy that targets a specific wavelength that has the highest affinity for water. And that's a good thing because we want to apply energy and have it absorbed by the water in the skin that will ablate it or resurface it or smooth out the skin and get rid of fine lines and wrinkles and also lift pigment. So by having such a high affinity for the water molecule, you'll have greater chance of getting rid of those wrinkles and less chance of the side effects from some of the older technologies. So we're talking about the laser actually smoothing our skin. Is it removing layers of skin as well? Yes, and one of the great things about lasers as opposed to chemical peels and some of the other more old-fashioned techniques that we used to use, the laser is tunable, meaning we can dial it up and back depending upon how aggressive we want to get. So my younger patients just need a small amount of resurfacing. We can use lower settings and remove smaller amounts of the outer skin. Someone who's got a lot of sun damage and a lot of wrinkles, we can turn it up and do multiple passes to get to a deeper level until we can get some significant resurfacing results. And I'm sure you have the, the same question as people first walk into your office. They're wondering, what does it feel like? Is there pain? Is there discomfort? What are we feeling when we're having the treatment done? There can be pain and discomfort if you're not being appropriately taken care of. So we use a combination of medications that we give you by mouth. We use topical numbing agents. We also use nerve blocks, and then we even use freezing cold air to blow on the skin while the procedure is being performed. So a lot of different techniques being used to make the patients as comfortable as possible. But it is a little bit uncomfortable because your skin does get warm, and it does feel sometimes people describe it as a little hot rubber band or a zap, and that can be somewhat alarming to people that are not used to having procedures done. Mm -hmm. And when somebody has one of these treatments, what do they look like when they leave the office? I mean, can they go to the grocery store after, or is this, is this a significant recovery time? It depends on how aggressive we are. We have some of the different laser techniques that we use. There might be a day or two downtime. You turn a little bit red or pink, and with a little foundation, you're good to go the next day. We also have our most aggressive technique, which is a week to 10 days recovery, where you really want to hide out, stay out of the sun, stay out of the public because of the recovery time. So if somebody walks into your office, they don't, they're not sure what they need. Who is the ideal candidate for this particular procedure? Well, typically someone will come in to see me saying, I don't like my neck or I don't like my face, I need a facelift. Well, that's only part of it. If you can make someone's face look better and get rid of you know, their you know, turkey gobbler or extra skin in their neck, if you don't resurface their skin or treat the skin, you haven't really fully corrected them to the best that you can. So I show them pictures before and after and have them really understand a facelift or eyelid surgery is going to improve the things that that's going to improve. But the actual surface of your skin, the fine lines and wrinkles, especially around the mouth, and pigment and fine lines under your eyes, those things are going to be best treated with skin resurfacing of some type. Okay. Now, is this something you can go to the office and do in one day, or does it take several treatments? Actually, both. Our most aggressive um, ablation technique is a one and done, meaning you get it done and that should be it. Now, people oftentimes will ask, well, how long does it last? And we joke around until they walk out of the office. And the reason we say that is because people are going to continue to age. They're in the sun, they're going to continue to age. And so with time, you do get some recurrence. So we do have people that will repeat lasers once, twice, three times a year. So it depends on the type of the laser, how aggressive you are, and also how much sun damage and wrinkling they have to start off with. So everybody has a custom plan that's built depending on the amount of correction that they need and also how much downtime they can give us. 
Well, and of course, we live in a, in a place where we have a lot of sun a lot of part of the year. When somebody gets this done, what is the after, you know, that you tell them about being out in the sun or being exposed to the sun? Certainly while they're healing, there's new fresh skin that's growing back and that's what they, that's what makes them look so good. Their, their skin is so unbelievably smooth, but it's also very, very pink like a sunburn. And so for any of our viewers that have ever been sunburned, if you go out in the direct sun again, it hurts. And so we really want to protect that skin. So we have people avoid direct contact with the sun at, and also wear you know, appropriate sunblock and products to protect them during that healing period. Well, yeah, let's not undo the beautiful work Absolutely. that you've just done. <laughs> Doctor, thank you so much. Uh, this is perfect for Arizona. I'm sure a lot of people are talking about their skin and sun damage. I know there's generations where they never thought about sunblock right. and taking care of their skin. Now you're helping them out. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And if you have been interested in laser resurfacing, Dr. Maloney has the solution. For more information, you can call 298-2330 or log on to their website, maloneyplasticsurgery.com.